Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. This is a tutorial on CSS, and another in our string of tutorials. This is the last definite tutorial. I might do more depending on how many questions I get, but this is the last one that I'm definitely doing. So if you want more CSS tutorials, be sure to comment. Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the three different methods of uh, styling in CSS. I've only shown you one method, which is this. To put some, some content in your head that says link. rel style sheet and then href and then the name of the style sheet I'm gonna call mine wacky dot css and then type equals text slash css and then media equals screen right that's what I've shown you before and that basically references a style sheet in the same directory called wacky so let's create that just to show you and we need to create some content in here don't we um so we'll just do paragraph and then we'll put some gibberish in there this isn't actually for anything by the way we're not doing a template today um so yeah, we've got, what we now need to do is create a file called um, wacky.css in the same directory. This should all be familiar from the last tutorial. And then we're just going to do uh, color equals red and then that's all we're gonna do um, we need to go back to our and then it's turn the paragraph color red right but what are the other methods of styling in CSS. Well, you'll be glad to know that with the other methods, we won't need an extra file. The other methods take place in the actual HTML document. The, the first one I'm going to show you, which is the one I don't like, which is known as inline styling. It's not really inline style sheets it's more inline styles so if I was going to do inline styling after, after the paragraph tag before it closes before I close the beginning of the paragraph element so the beginning of the paragraph tag I put style And then my style. So I'm going to do background. Is. Red. And as you see the reason why I don't like this. Is because it pushes the code. And once you get. Um loads of code in there it's difficult to see where the ending number is 
and where the ending of the tag is. So let's just prove that that works by um, previewing it. And as we see, it's gone red, just like we suspected. Now, what's the other method of styling in CSS then? What's the one that we haven't covered yet? Well, as you see, there's an open tag here, and I left that on purpose. So you know it's obviously something in the head tag. So in the head tag, all we're going to do is put style. And then we're going to do slash style. And then there we go. We've got a place there to insert our styles. So this time let's do, um, I don't know, let's put a header in there. Nice header for our site. And let's say, uh, um, H1 is just the letter D. So there, there we go. How do we style this, you ask? Well, in our style tags, we just put H1 and then we put our styles. So we're going to do H1 float right and let's see what that does it floats the H1 that we made to the right so they all work um, but say you were typing in loads of styles there it would your code would just get too complicated and I've never seen a website like a serious website where there's inline styles sorry if I offended you if you use them but it's a fact. I'd start off with embedded styles simply because that is what I started off with. But at the end of the day, I'd try and get to um, external styles. So this, this is the end of this CSS tutorial. I don't know when I'm going to do another CSS tutorial. It depends what response I get and what I feel like doing. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it's helped and I'd really like you to subscribe. Thanks for watching.